when we had the riots here in my hometown, I was called upon to help folks. What can I do to protect myself? Not so much myself. I had many guys, many investors calling me. How can I protect my family? You're listening to Five Hour Real Estate Week, where you'll learn to consistently buy real estate in only five hours a week. So if you're ready to invest in real estate, achieve financial freedom, and own the lifestyle you deserve, even with your job, this is the show for you. Now, here's your host, Mike Butler. Hello there, fellow investors, and welcome to another episode of the Five Hour Real Estate Week. And today's topic for Toolbox Tuesdays is going to be personal safety. Now, you might think, oh, personal safety, get a gun. Well, yeah, I'm a retired police detective here in my hometown. And yes, I do carry a, a pistola, but I'm going to caution you about the gun thing, okay? If you're going to get a gun, I want you to do this at a minimum. I want you to take a professional firearms training course for that weapon that you're going to be carrying. For example, I carried a, a Smith in Western 6906 semi-automatic nine mil. I started off with a wheel gun, a revolver. Then I went to Smith and Wesson 6906. Our department did. We had like probably a whole week of training on it, a whole week, eight hours a day, five days a week of training just on how to use this pistol. And the bottom line is this, I could be blindfolded have one hand behind my back, I could operate this pistol, I could take it apart, I could change out the clip or the magazine, if you will, and put a new one in, all of that. Now, and I have muscle memory, I don't have to think to pull that out of my holster and uh, point it at a target to protect myself or someone else's life, this and that. Now, it's a pretty tall order. I feel very comfortable carrying a gun because I've been properly trained, okay? Now, any policeman out there that's been properly trained, it's okay for them to carry a gun. I trust that. But do you really want people to carry guns and they just went in some gun shop anywhere and they bought a gun, put it in their purse, shove it in their pants? I'd be terrified. Okay. They do have safeties on them and this and that. And if a dirt bag confronts you or wants to rob you or attack you or something like that, if you've got it in your purse, think about this. If you're not properly trained, are you going to be able to do this under pressure, mental muscle memory to turn the safety off, maybe rack around in the chamber or whatever it is needs to be done before they touch you, the victim? Probably not. Even if you got it shoved in your pants, if you've not been properly trained, you don't have easy access to it and you can't pull it out quick, that's fine. Now, if you're at a McDonald's and somebody's robbing it, and you want to sneakily get it out and do all this and be a hero, that's fine. Okay, you can do that too. But my point is this. If you're going to carry a firearm, make sure you're properly trained because if not, they might use it on you. Okay, so be careful with that. So here's a solution, an alternative solution. So you've heard about pepper spray and you heard about cayenne. You've heard about tasers and all this and that. Well, when we had the riots here in my hometown, I was called upon to help folks what can I do to protect myself? Not so much myself. I had many guys, many investors calling me, how can I protect my family? Because they're doing carjackings where even with women and children in the car, jerking the lady out of the car, and then they jumping and taking off with kids in the back. I'd be frightened too if my wife and two young kids were riding around town and that was going on. So what can you do? Here's how you can have fun. So instead of the, the pepper spray does work, but it's very, very expensive. So I want you to try this on for size. Get you a, a case of wasp and hornet spray. And the reason I say a case, or at least get a minimum of six, most households, they have two cars. So I want you to put wasp and hornet spray in the back pocket of every vehicle you have on the back side of the seat. There's a pocket to put wasp and you can put a slide down a can of wasp and hornet spray. And I'll get to why you want to put it there. Maybe you can put one, uh, Pinch it down between the seat or something for easy access for the driver. Now, what do you do with the other ones? And do that on each vehicle. Don't worry about shoving it in your purse and all this. You want to get the high-powered Raid or Decon Wasp and Hornet Spray. Now, they're pretty cheap compared to pepper spray. So, and then here's what I want you to do. I want you to take it two cans, and I want you to draw a silhouette like you might see at a police firearms training or go to a gun range, and they got these things you shoot at. And they got a silhouette of a person on it. Well, help your kids 
and it doesn't matter what age you are. It's still fun for adults too, but draw that silhouette and then let your kids go up there and draw a mean face on it or all this and that and get your kids involved, make it interactive. And then what I want you to do is look at the directions on the can of that wasp and hornet spray. And some of them say like 20 to 30 feet. That's good. I don't like to get close to a wasp nest when I'm spraying them. You don't either. So what I want you to do, think of this. This is a uh, wasp and hornet spray training for your kids and for your wife. So let them have a can of that and let them stand back. Maybe, I don't know, go the max, say 30 feet, if that's what the can says and measure off 30 feet and have them aim it at the face. This is only going to do good in the face. Get it in the eyes. Okay. So make a mean face. They want to spray them in the face and let them know, feel, and see how that's going to work. And they'll love it. They'll have fun doing it. And if 30 feet's a little too far, maybe move them up to 20 and show them how powerful that can of wasp and hornet spray is and give them their each their own can to practice with, including your wife, including your spouse or your significant other, okay? Girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever the case may be. And so now they get to experience what it's like, not what it's like for them to get it hit in the face, but what that can can do and how far it can spray. It's pretty cool. Okay. We've taken it a step farther and we've set it on the desk in every desk in my office. In case some knucklehead comes in and starts raising cane, they can zap them and it's not going to kill them. They ought to make them miserable for a while, but it'll give you a chance while their head is scrambled and they're in pain and all this and that, hopefully to skedaddle out of there and get to a place of safety or just to escape. So a wasp and hornet spray, you probably never heard that before. And so order that up and I feel very safe. If you carry wasp and hornet spray with you and I carry it in my car, my wife carries it. That's pretty cool. And it's pretty safe and you can have fun training people to do that. So personal safety is huge. I'm going to, you're going to hear some more things that I'm coming up in our crazy world that we live in today where murderers are locked up and they're let out on home incarceration crazy stuff see you on the next one buy you some wasp and hornet spray bye-bye glad you joined us for another episode of five hour real estate week the best thing you can do now is put this information to action to help you get started mike created a free resource for you called how to buy 50 houses a year even with your job download it now by going to mikebutler.com forward slash 50 houses and we'll see you on the next episode